up everybody this is Damron with Trash Ass Gamers. I'm playing Bastion which is a really fun game if you haven't played it. Um, this is part five in our complete guide. Um, if you haven't seen parts one through four this is a complete guide. I'm showing you the game from start to finish every level and we're focusing on trying to get all of the achievements in the game so that's going to encompass getting all the vigils, doing all the dream sequences as well as getting first prize in all of the proving grounds. We're also playing in score attack mode um, so keep that in mind you do need to beat the game once before you unlock score attack mode and I'm showing you all the achievements now I won't talk throughout the entire video of course as we're progressing through levels mainly um, I'll talk at points at which I unlock a vigil or an achievement or there's something I need to tell you and I'll put a link in the de uh, in the comments as well as the description that timestamps every vigil that's unlocked in this particular video every achievement that's unlocked in this particular video and the beginning of each unique level um, so let's progress through this and I'll talk to you at the next point Point Lemain seen better days for sure but it ain't done shudders in a fit. The grand rail of Point the Main. Not only is it still there, it still works. Of course, it's no longer shipping hides and alloys and spices, but it can give the kid a lift. Just as long as it can stay clear of the trouble on the tracks. So much as one of those things slip by. Lunkheads settled in like they own the place. Expensive footwork on the rail, but with wallflowers coughing fungus everywhere. Ceylonian War, 50 years ago, doomed to happen again. It was right here that Zolf's Ura forefathers decided to mix it up. Okay, so maybe we didn't get their sign-off on the whole Grand Rail thing. That was bad. The 
rail must have shook the earth to the bone down in those dens of theirs. Well, the rail won't last much longer now that the kid took the shard. It's still got one good run in store for me. All the rotten wood there on the rails turning into swamp weed central. Ever try dancing side to side while holding your breath? While choking on swamp weed? While Hecker's trying to prick you in the eye? Well, let me tell you, it ain't fun. Itself. Turns out he's wrong. This is for you, says the man. Then wham. When the kid comes to, the man's long gone. But something else is there. The only words the kid recognizes on that parchment are for Zia. Well, what's a kid to do? He took the shard. He took the hit, and he took that note. That note cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? Finding gourmet ingredients ain't easy these days, but we'll take what we can get. The note says it plain. Zia, go east to learn the truth about the calamity and our people. I'll be waiting. Sincerely, Zulf. It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. <laughs> ain't saying much, but that's the greatest forge in all the city. Not everything blew up in the Calamity. Why Colford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. So, in a way, the beasts of the wilds, they're all survivors, too. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. That learning led to some interesting inventions. The raw power of the world fell right into our hands. Playing with the cauldron's fires became an addiction. Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here. But we 
discovered other things we're better off not knowing. The unforgiven scent of sulfur's dirt. The taste of air so hot it sticks to your lungs. Alright, so we're rolling up on the first vigil unlock in this particular part. That's going to be our 13th vigil, the culture. And the culture is for collecting 15 unique mementos throughout the game. And that's probably going to happen naturally as you're playing it. And the, this particular memento happened to be the Pecker Nest, which is the fourth of four pet mementos that we need to bring in the four domesticated animals into Bastion, which will unlock us the Pet Sitter achievement. Um, so once we get back to Bastion, uh, we'll unlock that achievement as now we've had four mementos. But keep in mind, if you miss any mementos or that that particular one it's okay you can purchase them from the lost and found that we've placed for a pretty small amount of fragments so it's not a big deal if you miss it so don't think you need to really run back through the level and get it but that is where it is and that's the fourth and final one needed for our pet sitter achievement We kept on sifting through the cauldron secret. Look down through all the smoke and flames. We saw in there the heart of the world. The heart now laid bare by the calamity. We had to have it. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Jawson Bog. Kid's thinking he's got to trek all the way back around the cauldron. Sure, it ain't the most convenient path. Biggest stink guy he's ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. Pops open on him like a pimple on a school day. And where there's one stink guy, there's always more. The cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. Kid don't shed any tears for him. With a good spyglass, you can still see the cauldron from the city. But all the fires died out. There's nothing left of it. He comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. Alright, so once we get back to Bastion, we can talk to Zia or the stranger and talk to them about the Pecker Nest, and that's going to bring the Pecker animal into Bastion, and that'll be the fourth one, and you'll unlock our fifth achievement, Pet Sitter, for doing that. And as I've said before, as soon as you get that memento, bring the pet into Bastion, because there's a scene later where they could die, and the achievement requires all four of them active at the same time.
Also, now we're on to our 14th of 23 sigils. This is going to be the service. And you'll likely get through this um, as well for normal gameplay uh, because that is done by getting 20 special skills unlocked. So you'll get those probably through natural gameplay. If you miss them in levels, they'll show up in the lost and found. So again, it's not anything you really need to um, worry about if you miss one in a level or in an unlock. But you'll also get some in the proving grounds um, and any extra ones in the lost and found that you may have walked by in a particular level um, so that's 14 of our 23 vigils completed now can't rightly call Mount Zan a mountain anymore there's no more mountains now there's no place left for the beasts of the wild to go Those beasts been hoarding all the valuables they can find. Good thing for those beasts the Calamity saved leftovers. We only found their little lair because they found themselves a little shard. So next up is our 15th of 23 vigils, the conscience. You're going to get this obviously through normal gameplay. This one is done, um, is completed by reaching level 5. So you're definitely going to reach level 5 just through playing the game. So that's 15 of 23 vigils now off the board. We have 8 to go. Best thing we can do for those beasts right now is put them down quick and clean. Besides, we have to take back what's ours. What the city left behind, those beasts took for themselves. Takes a lot of convincing, and our mortars have to do the talking. Look at it this way it's either them or us. But if we win, they win too. Our bastion is everybody's game, not just ours. Unfortunately, there's no explaining that to a single beast. Those beasts been hard at work fixing up the place. They've rounded up their survivors, just like we have. They've been searching for cores and shards, just like we have. Uh. 
Maybe they've thought about turning back, just like we have. We just really need their shard. Kid got it fair and square. That's the way. He's done what's best for him, don't you worry. Don't you worry. We'll all be better off once the Bastion is complete. The monument's getting better. Zolf sure did a number on it, though. Alright guys, so we're reaching the end of part 5. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you found it fun and useful. Um, so, we're wrapping up this particular part. I will show you now that we've leveled up, it's time to use our next, um, you know, spirit. Uh, this is where I like to use Lifeline. Lifeline is really good. We're approaching kind of the harder parts of the game, and if you happen to get an attack that would kill you, Lifeline can actually keep you alive. And it can proc pretty often, so it's really good. Um, so that's a really good one to have. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's really fun for me to make this stuff. You know, it's kind of a new channel. I do want to say I appreciate all the support that I've gotten thus far from anybody that's supported me or left comments in the channel. If you like the stuff, feel free to like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you in part six of Bastion.